It's your boy here, um, back from another video. Today, I'm gonna be discuss a few questions on TikTok about it. How to actually do this downgrade with all the downloads and everything. I'm gonna put all the downloads in the description below. I'm just gonna put a basically a link, not really a link. You don't even have to like. You just click it. It's just gonna download right away. Uh, this is for your iPhone 4s, iPad 2, iPad 3, uh, iPad 2 Wi-Fi cellular, iPad 2, whatever. I have a iPad 2 here. Here it is. My iPad 2 here. It's the same steps on both. Um, there you go. There you go. We're gonna change this into that. So this is the same phone um, from the TikTok. Why else wouldn't it be? Same one, iPhone 4S, Intel, uh, Siri. There, that's speed. Um, make sure you're using a 4S for this, because because I don't know how to do it on an iPhone 4. I can find out if you guys really want me to. Uh, you can do it with a 4S because it has two antenna bands right here and two antenna bands right there. If you have a 4, you'll have an antenna band right there with a... Uh, that dot is right for the microphone. So what you'll need is, I'll leave a link for everything, uh, 3U tools. So basic Windows 10 tool. You're going to need that download, depending on your devices, just pick the device down below. And select it, and we're gonna have to jailbreak this thing. Uh, it's not jailbroken. I'm gonna show you to do it right now. It's super quick, super easy. Take your USB cable, iPhone 30 pin, whatever. Plug it into your laptop. Take that. Plug this end into your phone. Give me a second. All right, it's gonna pump up. It's gonna say success connected because there's no password. Remove your password. Remove your iCloud. Remove everything from this phone. Oh no, what did I open? Uh, it's after. Uh, remove all your iCloud, remove all that stuff, remove your passcode so you, the thing doesn't freak out when it reads it. So it's going to hit reading device. You can see that what phone line is right here. That uh, random crap here. I don't care if you steal it. Go ahead. 52%. Yeah, it only holds the right. It's dead. Uh, there it is. The iOS I'm on. That's the iOS you should be running. If you're running anything lower, like a bit lower, it should be maybe 9.3.5. It'll still work the same way. This is just a broadband update with the cellular antennas in this phone. They have to release it pretty recently. There's nothing to do with the phone, though. It doesn't matter if you have that or not. It'll work the same. So you're just going to hit uh, jailbreak or no. You can hit jailbreak now. If that's not there for some reason, you're just going to flash and jailbreak. And it'll bring up the jailbreak page here. This is from other ones. And you're just going to hit jailbreak. It's very simple, this. Run jailbreak. So you're going to have to jailbreak your phone. Why? Because on the older ones, IPSW is the thing. You just download them. Oh, oh Windows Defender. Yep, give it a second. I'm gonna pop up. All right, fine. We'll do it myself. Uh, yep, there it is. Windows Defender. You're gonna have to just pause this quickly, just because it thinks everything's a freaking virus. Your antivirus, just pause it. Uh, I normally just hit this for allow one device. That only seems to work. And then I just normally go here, virus and threat protection, manage settings, and real time protection off. And then just pause that. So that's all. Just paused it. I think that's nothing's gonna happen. I can promise you that. It's gonna run the jailbreak. Yeah, turn on whatever. All right, just wait here and watch your phone screen. You can see your 4S here. Boom. Look at that beautiful lag that this thing has because it's a 4S. I wouldn't, I don't unplug it. Don't recommend it. It's not just gonna suck on every help if you do. And uh, just give this a second. I can do this live time, I guess. Just skip forward if you don't wanna. Also, the IPSW I was talking about before, and this cut me off. Um, basically, on older I, on back in the day, I was gonna bring this up. Device manager just, yep, just hit this. Hit trust. And hit, yeah. Trust. That's it. It's basically done. That's it. There. So now it's done here. But I was talking about the IPSWs basically. All it was is you could just download the firmware for the phone. I was 6.1.3 or 6.3.5, right? Any of them. And Apple kept signing them. So basically you could downgrade to them. But I don't think Apple really knew that people were doing this a lot. But And then they realized a lot of people were doing this and they said, boom. They stopped signing them with iTunes. So you have to jailbreak your phone basically to do this now. So you're gonna open up Phoenix. This is not City. You're gonna make it with the house in City. You just get prepared. Jailbroken. It's not jailbroken. There's my phone. Just hit accept. Uh, you can go ahead and listen to this if you want. Uh, proceed with jailbreak. I'm just gonna proceed. I'm gonna mix in installation, and it's gonna bring this up. There's my iOS. Just use provided. I don't recommend changing anything. There should be anything fine. I'm gonna plug this quickly just in case iTunes freaks out. Also, just close iTunes here. You can just select uh, close iTunes just because iTunes always brings up messages like iPhones in. Uh, uh, recovery mode, all this stuff, right, whatnot. If you've ever done this with a phone, you'll know. Um, so this is going to make you know, pretty quickly, faster than my download's going. Yeah, faster than my download's going. <laughs> Whopping 400 kilobytes per second. What great internet? No, I'm joking. This file normally is pretty slow for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know. The server, I guess, I got it from. It's not the greatest. Sorry about that. Uh, if, it really, if it's really bad, I can upload it to the cloud. We'll see. Oh, it shouldn't be that bad. I'll just add a positive if it is. Uh, so, let's get this loading. Um, 
Bionis is actually booting. Let's look at that. iOS 9 speeds. Uh, while this is doing this, note this down quickly or take a photo or something. Just do anything basically. Just note down. We'll, we'll, I'll bring it back up on the screen. I'll have it in the description as well. Uh, now this is done. Alright, now we should be able to just unlock this. Sorry for the next page. And it's not there. Okay. Um, I'm going to give it a second. It normally is finishing stuff up with the jailbreak. Should pop. I'm going to run it again. I'll keep the camera rolling just so you don't think I'm screwing you guys over. Run it again. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes it doesn't. It, I don't know what it is. It might be just it's not done down. Like it failed sometimes. But it only works after a few tries. Don't worry. If you get that. Bring that now. we got to wait for it to boot again. Uh, what is this? This is, if you've ever used City before, you'll know this is a repo basically. And this just has... Uh, that KDFU app in it, which will we'll show you what that does afterwards, which basically just bypasses the IPSW problems. And that's how you use this firmware. You can't use any other one, you have to use this one. Oh, you have to find in the OTA like this one. It can't be just the normal IPSW, I don't believe. I think it has to be this one. I've tried with other ones, like iOS 5. Not iOS 5. What is shipped on? I think it was iOS 5, actually. What they have for it shipped on and whatnot. And then um, for the iPad 2 jailbreak, I mean for the um, iPhone, iPhone, iOS 6 jailbreak, it's a bit weirder just because it's really buggy now. Use Pawn 6, Pawn 6, Pawn, whatever is hell, and that seems to work, but it's buggy. I jailbroke it so I could use older apps, it's still not there. Huh. Um, let's give us a second here. It should pop up, is it? Did it even say? It's jailbroken. It's not jailbroken, but it is. Open Cydia. This never works, I'm just trying this. Um, yeah, I know that. Um, let's run one more time. That is weird. Let's not bring it up. I do have enough storage. I wouldn't make it a storage error, but this will work on 16 gigs iPhones. And I'm going to tell you one thing right now. 16 gigs on iOS 9 is useless, but 16 gigs on iOS 6 is crazy, man. Oh my god, I like Minecraft on here, Drama Shadash, I tons of apps, man. Let's run it again. Yeah, storage is almost full. Okay, this pops up randomly, just done. Don't matter. Thinks that, it thinks, because it's downloaded all those files. There we go, now it should work. I don't know you that. And I only give it a really, I give it like most of them for some reason. I even got it with a 64 gig iPad too, I did too. My friend's one, it was a white 64 gig one, I got that error. I'm like, that don't make no sense, because there's nothing on the iPad. I wiped it, and I just put City on it. Also, downgrade is just going to wipe your data. So, plug in iTunes, open iTunes, back up your phone. Just in case you ever do update it back to iOS 9. For, I don't know, you want it, I guess? Um, just have it backed up, ready. Also, if you're wondering why there's screening like that, I'm not screening, like, creases. It's because I repaired this myself like last year as my first phone repair and that's why there's also that thing there because I, I must have hit the knife against it yay there it is told you city yeah, we can launch that now finally now it's gonna bring up this let's let it load uh, okay let it don't do anything yet it, it'll lag a lot if you try going here quickly it should bring a little thing up saying um it needs to install this stuff unless somehow it's installed even though I wiped this one like three times uh there, there it is uh, this is nothing, this always pops out, it's just this stupid thing that doesn't work anymore, 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 I said twice, that, uh, ignoring, yes, it just ignores it anyways, doesn't matter, and then upgrade essentials, you have to do this, just so it's ready, this is basically installing everything, 16 megabytes, should take this pretty quickly, uh, reloading data, da, 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 loading, loading, Okay, I might pause the video. Uh, I'll download the KDF you know, I'll pause the video just because this is taking forever. On the background there. On my fingers. Microsoft Edge, taking its time. Is my VPN running? Please don't tell me it is. Please don't tell me it is. No, it's disabled. So, I don't know why the hell it's so slow when it gets to the point. Try downloading it one more time. See if it's any faster. Yeah, like, see, now, like, this one seems to be going, like, 9 megabits per second, but, like, this one is, like, going to 3 megabits per second. Like, I don't want to... What's what he made it? Oh, my God. Yeah, we're going to cancel this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully that finishes. All right, this is still going, loading here. You might be with me or with you not. I don't know. Now it's slowing down again. Great. Uh, 
Come on. Come on. There we go. Return this video. Uh, now it's very simple. Pretty straightforward. I just upgraded essentials. What are you talking about? Yeah, there's nothing here. I'm just going to cancel that. Uh, go to sources. You should see a ton of this stuff. This is all fine there. Yeah, all this. This is, if you just want to jailbreak your phone, there you go. Boom. But it's very slow still anyways. I recommend just downgrading again and then just jailbreaking it there. Now this is when that repo thing comes in. So I'm going to go alt tab here. Back to my notepad. And I'm going to just type that in quickly. Uh, let's see. Make sure you guys can see it. So you can just copy from mine just in case somehow I misspelt it. Dot net. I believe I got it correct. There we go. Let's see. No, I screwed it up. Damn it. What did I do wrong? Did I not type repo? Am I an idiot? And star dot net. Okay, let's try that. There we go. Okay, maybe I didn't type repo, I guess. I don't know. I'm an idiot. Oh, and that finished downloading. All right. Uh, this is going to be in the same app every time you install something in Cydia. Just because I guess it's an old package you just haven't removed from the base. Return to city. All right, there we go. Um, ignore temporarily. Okay, now we're gonna go here and it says beta repo, da da da, and you go to all packages, and then just go on the side here and find it's K or scroll down, scroll down to K, go to KDFU mode, app. Ah, sorry, uh, there you go. That's what phone's compatible with. So, not compatible with 64 bit. <gasps> I don't even know if there's any 64. I think it's just 32 bit. Yeah, this might be a 32 bit. This is ARM 32 bit, so that's probably why. So it's just gonna download all this crap. It's just downloading that. I know this looks really cool. You can send this to your friends and be like, hey, I'm hacking. Well, yeah, yeah. So it's just showing what the system's doing. This is, yeah, actually, you know what? If you were to remove the Apple boot logo from any phone or at Mac or any any PC, actually, Windows PC, and just remove the boot logo, you'd see all this stuff. I like just delete it, but like, get rid of that splash screen and you just have this. You just see code. Uh, you can see that with all the cool things. It makes it look cool, I guess. I don't recommend messing with that stuff. So let's do this. Do I just have my phone unplugged right now? You don't need to plug in just because iTunes is gonna keep popping up, random crap like, yeah, you're not installing. Your phone is broken, or you don't know this crap that likes to say at you. Uh, loading. I'm gonna keep this real time just because I've seen a lot. I've watched a lot of these videos. I'm gonna just lie about tons of crap. Like they don't show the full video. How you do it properly, and what to do. I'm not going to keep the uh, update real time though. If it fails, I will pause it and show you if I did something wrong, but I'm going to try to do everything correctly because I've done this so many times now. Return to city here. All right, boom. Now that uh, you're back here, you're just going to hit the home button and you're going to see KDFU app. Open that up. Now you can bring this up. Now you're going to just click this one, find bundle. If this doesn't find a way to win, it just says error or something, still downloading, just retry that again, that button again. Uh, happens sometimes, it's just a bit slow sometimes. And boom. That, there we go, entering system, bye bye. Now here's the, this is where you really need to listen. Um, no, not like for like scary reasons. You just need to listen, so open three tools quickly. Go to my device, you can see it pop up. Uh, you need to be able to know, uh, just listen what I'm doing, make sure you follow along. Don't, don't be like, oh, okay, he's gonna do everything for me now. Let's bring this up. Let's come black I guess all the time just hit go flash and then go pro flash don't go here and be like select another room and put them in a go pro flash and you're gonna go all the way over here because automatically it's gonna say retain using mode will not work because you're downgrading your operating system quick flash mode you can see this is default if you want I don't really care I just like showing you make sure everyone knows and then just click import firmware now they're in here let's go up to your download section here and you that's desktop. <laughs> Download section here, and it should be this. This should be the only file that pops up, or if you have the, the iPad one as well. It's an IPSW one, and then hit open. All right, now it's open. And see it down there. Hit flash. Okay, this is gonna pop up. Don't do anything. I, I first time did this. I thought I was doing anything. No, just hit okay. It's already done. It's already in uh, DFU mode. Let's see. It'll, I'll go into the Apple logo pops up, and then I'll just pause it there and pause it once moving. Da -da -da. If it freezes and goes red, make sure you've done this correctly. Make sure you have closed iTunes on just so nothing gets in the way. iPhone doesn't try something. There you go. There you got the iOS, uh, what, like, I think up to what, iOS 7, right? That was there. And then they changed it for some reason. Oh, I'm trying to look for something. 
we'll talk about what three utils is quickly before you guys probably might be a bit sketched by this stuff. It's not that's fully legal. Like you use it for everything. Like here's an iPhone 2G, first generation. I don't have it activated because I don't. I live in Canada. That sucks because fucking AT and T doesn't exist here. And this this is in the U S. Phone is only sold there. This 3G S only then 3G was sold in Canada, but then mine's broken. My charging port doesn't work. Actually, threw it against a ronk once. <laughs> you can see that crack there because I got pissed off at this stupid thing. That wasn't working properly. This is also, this is like 10 years old. You know, my God, it was 10 years old still. Right. This thing was so big. This beauty. Beautiful device here. Uh, yeah, this can just go into my bed. Uh, I'm just put a bike. Uh, let's, okay, I will get back when this thing starts moving. It's finally moving. I'm just trying to play some cold war while I wait. You guys better be the same. I'm going to have to check my room right uh Ring 120 in Cold War, ready and object. I haven't been playing this entire time. But, uh, yeah, somebody's chugging along over there. You can see it there moving. Hopefully this doesn't fail. If it does fail, just retry it multiple times. And then if it keeps failing, hit me up. I'll see what I can do for you guys. Up on your screen, just hit OK and just uh, keep playing Cold War while this boots up. That's it. Put it up. We're good to go. Go set your up.